First question is from Anton Alesna. What are your guys' favorite workout splits? Don't say full body. Well, that wouldn't be a split. Yeah. So well, okay. So, <laughs> so we're, we're running body. one right now. So yeah. we should share what we're running right now. Yeah. So okay. So first and foremost, uh, you know, and I'll stand by this. For most people, a full body, you know, three day workout uh, is, is superior. It just works best for most people. Yeah. That being said, there's some benefits to splits, especially for people who are advanced and who are doing uh, high volume workouts because it, it, you know, a full body high volume workout can take can take two hours plus. Um, so splitting the body up in that case makes sense. One of my favorite splits is the one that we're doing right now, um, which you find in MAPS split. And that is a, it's what it would be uh, called a push pull leg split. So essentially it's a six day a week routine. And what you do is uh, day one, you work the push muscles, which would be chest, shoulders, and triceps. The next day would be back uh, biceps um, and then the next day would be legs, and you would probably throw core in there with your legs, and then you would repeat that cycle for the next three days. So every body part is getting with a hit. one day break in between, or at the end, one of the at, other. at the end, or yeah. in between. Yeah, right, I right. like to do it at the end, uh, so yeah. I go th- six days and then off, and then do it again. Right, right, it. that's yeah. the same thing. So I love, I love splits like this. Um, and the the biggest knock that I have on splits versus full body. It's just the the consistency of being able to train five or six days a week. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and if you miss a day, you're screwed. That's why yeah. exactly. That's and that exactly. You you miss a day and now that throws off next week and you got to start. You're starting it on a different on a different day and so something gets less attention than something else. So one of your your body parts suffer. The body part that tends to suffer on most people is the one they like to train the least. Yep. It's just natural. This is human behavior and that's why we always push the full body because here's what's great. If you do a two or three a day a week full body routine and you miss one day you're okay you just mm-hmm. hit the, you still hit the whole body you still hit the whole body and you still are, are starting the same place next week without skipping a beat yeah. where when you run a split it just takes a little bit more now that being said if you are somebody who is religious about going to the gym five six seven days a week and you never miss then splits are great. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with oh, splits. Oh, yeah, it's I fun it. if you just love like hanging out in the gym all the time. And, yeah. I, and I get that, too. Like It's totally a hangout, and it's something people look forward to a lot, so it kind of fits within that culture of it. But, yeah, it's funny. Doing this is such a shell shock on my body because it's just something I don't typically do, and, and it's definitely like – for me, it, it's good to to venture outside of my comfort zones and do something like this. But my body will respond, uh, you know, great as, as a result of it. Yeah. Now, here's what studies will show, and this uh, kind of supports even my experience training people, that the total volume for the week that you want to do per body part for most people is anywhere between 10 to 20 total sets. So 10 to 20 total sets seems to be where most people respond the best. Obviously, 20 being more for people who are really advanced. Nutrition is good. Sleep is good. Good recovery ability. 10 more for you know beginners and all that stuff. As far as frequency of training the body parts, here's what's interesting. Studies show that the ideal frequency that you should train a body part, regardless of the total volume. So in other words, even if you control total volume, the body parts respond best to two to three times a week. One time a week, you're going to gain less strength, less muscle, less results than if you train a body part twice a week. So what that means is if you're training uh, your chest on Monday for 20 sets, you're better off training chest twice a week, 10 sets each time. Right. Uh, that two to three times a week seems to produce the most. And in my, my experience, this is totally true. If, if When clients were hitting the whole body, however we broke up the split, two to three days a week, we got way better results even if the volume was totally the same. Well, same thing I, for me. What I do mm-hmm. like also about splits is it's a little bit easier to manage the uh, soreness and overreaching part because like, so we trained today was our, our leg day and it's been four days since I've trained legs. And so I've got good enough rest where when we do a, like a maps anabolic routine, if you overreached on Monday, you're right back there yeah. on Wednesday again. So you don't get as much recovery time. So I felt great today lifting where had I had to lift legs again two days ago, well, then I would have had to modify my intensity more and l- lower it because we're I'm hitting it at more frequently. So mm-hmm. I do like that with the split is it gives me a little bit more recovery time before I go up to the most, which also allows me to kind of get after a little bit more. So mm-hmm. if, you, if you like that, if you like kind of getting after it, you tend to lean that way more where you do more in your workout than you probably should have splits tend to work out really well for that that doesn't it doesn't bode well for a full body routine two or three times a week yeah you need to consider the context of everything and and be honest with yourself and again for most people just long term full body just works and produces the best results the best consistency the best strength fat loss 
most maps programs have some variation of a full body type approach. But we do have, uh, you know, programs where it's more of that bodybuilder split, like map split. But again, you're 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 working out six days a week. There, well, there's no almost there's one day off. That's it. And I really think almost everybody. I don't care who you are, even if you like splits. If you're getting back into the uh, swing of things, like you've taken a break because of the holidays, even if it's only been two weeks, like if you've done two weeks or more of a break, that everybody is is better off starting with that kind of full body first. Sure. And the reason why it's okay for us to move into the split where we are now is that's how I was training by myself before you guys when we got together. Mm -hmm. I was training one to two days a week full body, and that's what was maintaining me kind of where I was at. Now when we all got together and started working out, I can transition into that and be okay. If I would have jumped, like I had, let's say I hadn't worked out in a month or two, jumping into the split routine, you guys would, you guys would, and you still got me. Like I got, I'm probably the sorest out of the three of us mm. because I've been training at the probably the least amount of volume. And just these workouts alone where we've had, you know, two or three exercises for a muscle group, I mean, that's so much more that I've done in a workout in a long time that I'm really sore. Right.